This is part of the plank. This is where you see the sailors scrubbing the deck. This is part of that deck. Former Stanton Mayor Al Ethans holds one of his prized keepsakes. It's a section of plank from the actual deck of his Navy ship. Now that he's retired, he finally has time to reflect on his service to the city and his service to two different branches of the military. I did not finish high school at first. At the age of 17, my dad gave me a choice. I didn't like the first choice. I took the second one. I joined the United States Navy. That was in 1947. He went on to serve as a firefighter on what was then a brand new ship. But it was a light cruiser, USS Worcester, CL-144, and uh, I was stationed aboard it as a fireman first class. But when the Korean War broke out, he found a better opportunity with the Air Force. I tried to go overseas. They told me I had too many points, so they put me in Warren, Ohio, of all places, I could go home on the weekends, which I did quite often. And I was in finance. I became paymaster. After serving his country, he eventually went to work for McDonnell Douglas. When I worked at Santa Monica for a while, then they transferred to Huntington Beach, and then I transferred to Florida on the space program. And I met many of the astronauts just at dinners and so forth, nothing personal. And I enjoyed that very much. He also met a beautiful co-worker, now his wife of 42 years. Together, Al and Mavis have a blended family of five children, seven grandchildren, and three great-grandchildren. I eventually retired from McDonnell Douglas, but not before I served on the F-15 program, and they shipped me to Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. At that time, I'd just gotten married with my wife, Mavis Ann, and so she came along with me. The company had us well taken care of, and then we got to travel a lot, and that's why I say, coming from Minnesota, a small farm town, I never dreamt I would be in Paris and Greece and, you know, all over the world. So it was exciting for me. By his retirement in 1995, they had settled in the Stanton home where they live today. But retirement didn't last long. Within a month or two after staying home, and uh, going to our local council meetings here in Stanton, uh, they asked me to run on a planning commission because they didn't want me to complain anymore. He quickly went from the planning commission to a city council seat and went on to serve for 23 years. He takes pride in a long list of accomplishments, especially for helping to make Stanton a safer place to live. We still have problems, every city has problems. And, but it's now not a gang infested area like it was back in the early 80s. And uh, just, it's much safer to go down Beach Boulevard in the evening. Their home is filled with wonderful memories and mementos, but one plaque on the wall remembers a deep tragedy, the untimely death of their son Robert at age 47. Through the bad and the good, they have stayed strong. And last year, my wife and I decided it was time for me to retire and I asked her if I could run one more time just to help the team that was running and I won in my re-election and I stayed for two years. But the time had come and midterm he decided to step down. On his last day, he was presented with a collection of memorabilia, including the gavel he would occasionally have to hammer down during his five terms as mayor. Maybe once or twice, but I used it quite often just to quiet down the, the audience. And uh, it was a lot of fun. And uh, really, I look back and I can't believe that uh, the people that served with me in the past. No regrets. It was hard to do it and stay home, but I'm still very active on the Lions and the Boys and Girls Club Board of Directors. And I intend to stay there as long as my health will let me. They will also be quite busy with family. They help care for their youngest great-granddaughter. And at 89 years young, you can bet Al Ethans will always find a way to serve and care for others. So it's been a joy, and uh, when I left, I had a very good ceremony. I was very sad to leave, because it was part of my life for all those years, and I was very active in our city, and I will continue to support anything I can to continue going in the right direction.